Hello everybody, it's Charlene aka Island Girl Diamond Painting Journal. Welcome to my channel. To all new subscribers, howdy. It's great to have you here. I am so glad you're here. To my returning viewers, howdy. <laughs> I am so happy you are back. Guys, today is Thursday, the 25th of July. And I'm having a really good day because guess what? My acrylic pens came in today. I've got one of them in front of you here. I will unbox this now. I will unbox the other one in a separate video because I want to give each uh, each package the attention I think it deserves. And to the creators of the pens, I want to give each creator the attention they deserve. So guys, today's unboxing... Uh, my pens have come from BFF Diamond Painting Pens. They are a Facebook uh, business or group. Actually, it's listed as a group, but they do business on that group. And that's where these pens have come from. Okay, so guys, I have to give you all a little backstory on this because this was a wild one. This package took quite a trip. <clears throat> I won a pen from BFF and if you don't know what that means I'll tell you how they how it works every a couple times every week uh, Kedem and Joseph that's uh, the people who create the pens uh, they do uh, what they call mass drops and basically what they do is they will post images of several pens i would say anywhere between 10 to 15 pens maybe 10 12 15 anywhere around their ballpark uh, a couple times every week and you go in you view the pens that are there and you comment my bff because you are basically you are trying to win or adopt one of the pens and uh, the pens want homes guys they want homes they want loving homes so you can comment on one or all or none whatever you prefer uh, on and wait for the next batch and maybe there will be one that you know you might like and um, you comment my BFF and at a given time in the evening uh, Kadem will do a random draw and she will select a number and if your comment is uh, that number let's say you were the fifth comment and you number five was drawn then you have the opportunity to win a pen and that's what i did so i did i made a comment on uh june 12th you heard that right not july june 12th and I won a pen called Cranberry Nights and uh, I asked Kedem if I would be able to also get a custom and she said yeah not a problem and they made a custom for me now they shipped everything out uh, the very next day that was on June 13th and uh, it went on its way uh, this is shipping from the US guys oh and their pens start at uh, 25 US dollars and that includes first-class shipping anywhere in the US right so yeah the pens shipped and it went to my Miami address well not quite it got to the Miami distribution center and it was stuck there for a very long time it was stuck between the 19th of June and the 26th of June on the 26th of June the reason being why it was stuck is that there was an error on the address now the error on the address was not my fault and neither was it Kedem's fault I would have to say it was PayPal's fault um, for some reason <clears throat> The address printed had my U.S. address, but it had Trinidad and Tobago as my country. So 
and I don't mind if you guys see my address because I don't actually live here but yeah it it went on to give the address as Miami Florida the zip code USA and then it went on to say Trinidad and Tobago so yeah the guys at Miami were very confused by that they did not know what to do with it and they sent it all the way down to Trinidad it left Miami on June 26th and made its way down to Trinidad now I don't understand why they would do that because there was no Trinidad and Tobago address on the package so even if it came to the country of Trinidad and Tobago they they wouldn't know where it has to go you know so guys I was on a high-speed chase chasing this package at first I thought it was stuck for some reason I contacted USPS about it they looked into it then they informed me that the package because of the address thing it came down to Trinidad and they gave me the date so I immediately contacted my local post and I sent them a letter with copies and screen caps of all the information and uh, <clears throat> They said they would look into it. They wrote me back the next day and they said that because there is no local address to it, they would send it back to the U.S. So it arrived back in the U.S. on July 14th. And when it arrived back in the U.S., um, they said it was delivered to an agent. And I believe that from there, they would send it back to Kedem, right? So that package, wherever that is, I believe it's winging its way back to Kedem. And uh, yeah, so that took a merry trip. Kedem, on the other hand, was so, so, so kind, so wonderful and so thoughtful. And guys, I'm telling you, excellent customer service. Kedem understood everything there was no fuss she kindly uh you know she offered to replace the pens and um, i said i would really really like that because the pens that she sent me initially those would be coming back to her and i already paid for two pens the one that i won and i paid for a custom by the way guys if you seek a custom from bff pens uh they uh, start at 30 US. If you win one, uh, the opportunity to buy one, it's 25. But if you request a custom, it's 30. So <clears throat> Kedem agreed to redo the order. And oddly enough, the very next night, uh, on July 17th, I won another pen. So guys, I have three pens here to unbox and I'm talking and you probably just want me to get into this. But I wanted to tell you all about the, the crazy story that went behind these pens. And I think I will always remember that. And I see that now whenever I make purchases with my PayPal that they also put Trinidad and Tobago. So now, anytime I do a purchase with PayPal, I need to contact the seller and let them know to verify that the address does not have Trinidad and Tobago on it, or I will have to go on a merry goose chase all over again, trying to figure out what's going on with my pens. And guys, this is how it came. Let me get rid of that slip. It's all wrapped up in bubble wrap and it's wrapped pretty good. My notepad. Now I put a black uh, material down here because I want the pens to show up. Okay. Three pens, guys. Three pens. And they are wrapped in tissue. For protection okay so can you see this guys this is 
Cranberry Nights. And this was the first pen that I won. This was the pen that I won on June 12th. And it's gorgeous. Uh, it's a nice, rich red color with black and then it's clear so you can see through the pen. So this is my first pen. So pretty. I wonder if this is the second one. Okay, this is the custom. I'll open that last. So this is the one that I won. The one that I won. <laughs> on July 17th and it sort of matches the cranberry mist this one is called not cranberry mist sorry cranberry nights this one is duckweed mist and it sort of matches the cranberry nights because like the cranberry nights this is green with black and clay. You can probably see through it there. Yeah. So that's two. And here is my custom. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. I love it. And if you don't recognize this, this is my favorite thing to drink when I'm in the mood for drinking. This is tequila. <laughs> it looks like tequila, <laughs> actually, when you think about it. And this is a very nice... A uh, bright neon green sort of color. It looks exactly like the drink if you've never had tequila before. Yeah. And it's gorgeous. So there you are, guys. These are my three pens <clears throat> from BFF Diamond Painting Pens over on Facebook. I will link it below. Again, I paid $25. $25. And I paid $30 for this because this one was a custom. And there you have it. Let me see if I could tip this down. Okay, so I may just have to move the entire thing. And I cannot see what you are seeing right now, but... I'm hoping that you all are seeing it clearly. I will do a separate video. Uh, let me just make this adjustment. I will do a separate video showing off these pens um, in a better light. Let me put them on my little holder here. And there we are. Guys, I am really, really happy with this order. It is gorgeous. The pens are gorgeous. They are all the same shape. Uh, there's no variance in the shape. They are, although they are acrylic pens, they are light. They're not very heavy. They may seem heavy, but they're not. And, uh, they're very comfortable to hold. So Kedem and Joseph Decker, thank you so very, very much for the pens, for the opportunity to purchase, for the incredibly excellent customer service. I cannot stop thinking about how amazing you guys are. You know, you guys really, really pulled through for me on this order. I really appreciate all the lengths you went through to ensure that I get my pens. Um, really, guys, I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thank you. 
thank you <laughs> can't say thank you enough i am so happy <clears throat> the craftsmanship guys is amazing there um if you are considering getting some acrylic pens i do recommend them i will have them listed uh below this was my first purchase from them and i'm very very happy um the i would say under extraordinary circumstances their customer service is above par i had problems with this getting to me and they rectified issues that were not even theirs they rectified it and i am absolutely grateful absolutely grateful to them so guys thank you for joining me I will be doing my other unboxing um, likely I will upload both so you will see the other one soon thank you so much for joining me on this unboxing and I'll see you on the next one bye bye